Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown, the June 27th, 2020 edition. I'm Caleb Black. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams, our in-studio producer, Max Fury, and it is time for This Week in Wrestling, Part 1, Monday Night Raw. <sighs> it's just so bad. It really is. It's so unwatchably bad. It took them an hour, an hour, to get into the first wrestling match. It was all promos. Welcome to the Bruce Pritchard era. Like, I even read on like I read a report the other day that indicated that you know uh, uh, the Raw's focus is going to be more storyline driven. I'm fine with storylines. Yeah, but I wants to watch me some wrestling because it's wrestling. Right. I mean, Monday nights used to be like the hotbed. But... Yeah, you yeah yeah they could have they would have twenty matches on Raw. None, not all of them were any fucking good. Well, that three four minutes a piece, but they were still matches. But they were still matches. It was wrestling. It was more content. than what we're doing now. So let's get right into this just god awful fucking show. Uh, Dolph Ziggler debuts. Uh, read it. Returns to Raw. Also, we have a correction to make. We said last week that Raw had acquired Dolph Ziggler and Mustafa Ali. They have. Uh, they've also added Raw. But we, that was going to be my next point yeah. is that in the for this particular version of the draft. They have required Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode in the place of AJ Styles. So Dolph comes out, talks about how Drew McIntyre owes him for bringing him back up after Drew was fired. It was a nice little promo. It did what it needed to do. McIntyre called Ziggler an entitled jackass, and they have a challenge for the belt July 19th. So at Extreme Rules Horror Show. Uh, I'm a fan. Uh, I love Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, as do I. I'm glad that... Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to me... That it took him so long, and now that he's on Raw, like, first night he's back, and he's in the title picture. Yeah. What kind of sets me off of that is we got a one-and-done with Bobby Lashley. Yeah, it's over. Like, I mean, the match wasn't great by any means, but it wasn't well, horrible. I feel like they, they, you know, you don't necessarily have to revisit the well a lot, and I feel like they kind of went as far as they could with him and Lashley. They did some gimmick stuff. They, they, they Lashley's, Lashley's been chasing the title, and I think now it is time. I think it's a good time for McIntyre to move on. Well, and I heard within the next couple of weeks. Now, like I said, this is just rumor and innuendo, but that uh, <laughs> you Bruce Pritchard, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, seriously, uh, that I heard that Brock Lesnar is uh, interested in a feud with Bobby Lashley, wrestling Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam, I'm so and putting him that. over. I'm so down for that. Actually, what I heard was that Paul Heyman's going to turn on Brock Lesnar and go with Bobby. Yep, I'm down with it. Except I really like I really like MVP as Bobby's mouthpiece. I think that works. I so do well. too. Uh, so moving on on Raw, Nia Jax stages a protest. It's interrupted by our truth and Charlotte Flair. It was awful. It looked, took too long. Nia Jax is not a good promo. She nope. and Charlotte's diatribe wasn't good. Nope. Our truth was entertaining. Yes. Nia Jax didn't hurt anybody, I guess, except for the amount of people watching that segment. Remember, the ninjas were not. Oh, the ninjas. We're, we're going to get to the ninjas. Tag team title match. The Street Profits versus the Viking Raiders. They finally have a wrestling match for the tag team titles. It wasn't a, a kayaking competition. It wasn't a 10K Ooh, they ran against each other. Competition. It wasn't hack and sack or checkers. They had a wrestling match. They are, neither one of them tag teams are smart enough to have a chess match. <laughs> uh, that was, would take too long. I'll, I'll give it a two. I, it was all right. They're all athletic, and the match, I, I think more so it's been the having to wait so long to get to wrestling by this point it's in the, the show. It's the fact that you have made them from adversaries to, to partners. Yeah, they're Viking prophets. They're friends whatever the now. Hell. Like, I, don't I don't understand that. It's stupid. Uh, but yeah, no, one, one, one point seven five. Yeah. Uh, Asuka defends and her women's championship against Charlotte Flair and wins. Match was okay. I'll give it a two and a half. Three on the upside, maybe. I would give it a two and a half, although I think that maybe they went a little too long with it. Yeah. Um, Asuka's working the injury right now, so, I, it's so hard because Charlotte is so good, but I feel like, and I always feel like, you know, she's not a person who really needs the belt, and Asuka being champion is good. Yes. And I love that they're actually defending the women's championship, and they're making it a main part of the show. Um, I don't know, man, I just want more from it, I guess, if that makes sense. I think that they should 
loosen the reins a little bit. Yeah. I think that if they loosen the reins a little bit and they let Asuka be Asuka and not this wanting to make everyone laugh gimmick, yeah. that I think these matches would be ten times better. Like, I agree. Give me Asuka the first year she came over to, yeah. w- to, to the main roster. Give me that Asuka. Yeah, and give me, give me the version of Charlotte that... Because uh, I, I don't think... I mean, she hasn't changed and her work rate hasn't changed. But I think without having the foils like she had with Sasha and Becky the and Bailey, there. yeah, without having those types of foils, I think it's hard to get behind her right now. Which is insane because she's the best women's wrestler and better than some of the men. Well, and with her with her heading out here soon, uh, due to the elective surgery and the, the, how they yeah wrote her off, you know tonight yeah. or Monday night. Uh, I, I seriously think that maybe she just hasn't been putting that fire in because she's hurt. Yeah. And if that's the case, I understand. But again, the fire in that match, like, Asuka fired up. Yeah. But it seemed like Charlotte, every time she went to fire up, it just kind of... She just didn't have the... Yeah, flare. she didn't have the... It, she, yeah. didn't have, she didn't have the heat. See what he did there? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no flair for the gold. <laughs> Randy, Randy Orton and Edge have a, a trade of promos. Randy Orton's promo was fucking phenomenal. Edge's promo was good. Uh, Randy Orton was better. Uh, <laughs> sorry. No. Uh, yeah, no, they were great promos. I loved Randy Orton. Uh, you and Christian will live long, happy lives as long as you do it far, far yeah. away from me. I also like so the Edge good. firing up and being like, you're going to get the rated R superstar. Yeah. And that's what we want. Yeah. Uh, that's what Randy Orton doesn't want. Now that we're finally getting promos where they're not just talking slowly and quietly I think a lot of that had to do with they were building that. I get it, greatest. drama and whatever, but it was be- it just didn't work for me. But this now we're getting some intensity behind the promos. It didn't it, work with Edge. Everything Randy Orton did. Everything was, Randy Orton did. Every single thing. Everything Edge did, Randy Orton did better. Yes. Uh, that's, that's just the way it is. The Puritanawa beats our truth for the twenty seventh title. Don't talk about it. I ninety five South European Championship. Don't talk about it. With ninjas. What is this going to make our truth now? The 87 I time... I don't fucking know. Bruce Pritchard with the ninjas has to stop. It has to stop. No. It's awful. No. No more ninjas. Except for the big ninja. I want to see the big ninja. Big <laughs> Bring show. back the big ninja. No, no. I want to see the big show. I want to see the finish to that. Yeah. If you're going to give me the big show standing against a guy who's taller than the big show, I want that match. Yeah. I don't care about the little ninjas. I don't care about Tozawa and his probably eight-day reign. As twenty four seven champion, I want the legitimately. If you're going to build that, I want it. Yeah, I want I Yete versus the Giant. Oh, speaking of the Giant, he's going to be Randy Orton's next feud. Big Show's going to be Randy Orton's. I'm okay with that for right too. now. Oh yeah, Orton's going to work him great. Again, Big Show still got his intensity and his size. Always works through his best advantage. shape he's been in. And yeah, uh, we'll get years. we'll get some really good veteran action out of these two, and I'm pretty stoked for that. Yes, uh, Natalia wrestles Liv Morgan. It was a two and a half. It wasn't that good. No. Afterward, no. Lana makes her presence known, and she joins joins up with Natalia. I guess she's going to be her manager now. Yeah. I like that's a good fit. That's a good fit. It's better than her managing Bobby. She doesn't have to do a lot of talking. Right, because Natty can promo part. The thing I want to talk about is the is the promo afterwards. With uh, Liv Morgan being backstage and Ruby Riot coming in and yeah. her being like, "I don't want to talk about this. I don't need you to, you know." Yeah, dude, bring back the Riot Squad. I think th- I think that's part of the plan. Oh, speaking of, uh, you know, we didn't talk about Sarah Logan uh, claiming that she was away done from the business. I doubt that. Very we should have covered that earlier. I uh, see. I don't believe it. So the that's probably the most problem with that. Iconics wrestle the Golden Role Models for the women's tag team titles. Becky and Bailey defend their tag team titles successfully. successfully. Again, it's a women's match. I give it a three. Tag I give match. It an even three. Bailey and Sasha can work. I just don't like the pair of the Iconics. I don't like them together. I don't know what it is. Doesn't doesn't do it for me. I think they would be both better suited. To I think Billy Kay and Peyton Royce should be singles wrestlers. I think Peyton Royce is. is I the, think Peyton Royce is really great. Peyton Royce is the Michaels to Billy Kay's genetic. Yeah, and that's not even. And that's like, not enough. Yeah, that's not enough. I like Martin Genetic. Right. But, um, Apollo Cruz joins the VIP lounge and wrestles Shelton Benjamin again for the U.S. title. Like we talked about before, uh, I mean, this was another match. It was not 
You can't go wrong with these two, but yeah. again, did we really need it for the second? And, week in and a row? again, too, it was a lot of commercial breaks, and the match wasn't that fat. It wasn't uh, that long. I'll give it a three, just yeah. because they're both athletic and the match was put well together. I want more for Benjamin, and I certainly want more for Cruz. Right. I, I just I don't get it. Rey Mysterio makes his return to Raw at the end of the broadcast. Uh, they try to beat up Dominic. Dominic gets saved by Umberto and yeah. That's Same stuff as last week. Seth Rollins is just... Uh, Dominic, I am impressed with. I yeah. think we'll do well with Seth yeah, he's Rollins. Yeah, he's got a bright future ahead. That's going to be a match. Himself. Wherever it's going to take place, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, I think Ray makes a good buffer for Seth right now, too. Yeah, oh yeah. And I think Dominic, being in the storyline, at least gives you something to watch and enjoy. But something again, to look forward to. It's all promos, and it's all just malarkey. And it could all lead it's to a bunch the of bull stuff. It could all lead to the swerve where Dominic... Turns Joy heel on Rey Mysterio and rips his mask off and kills him in the ring. What? Do you guys think that it's possible that Seth Rollins is actually Dominic's father? <laughs> I don't know. Eddie Guerrero is Dominic's father. That's been well established. Was. Yes, was. Was. Rest in peace, Eddie. Unless he's like Elvis and actually still alive. In which case, fuck you, man. Yeah. I cried over you. Yeah. Wept. Like anyway. a baby. Jesus. Like a child. All right, y'all. That's going to wrap <laughs> us up for this week in wrestling. Part one, Monday Night Raw. Let us know what you thought about Raw below. What do you think about Dominic coming in the fold? How do you feel about all the tumultuous promos and commercial breaks? We want to know by leaving us a comment below. You can tell us. Or you can send us an email at prowrestlingthrowdown at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prowrestlingthrowdown. Like, subscribe, and keep watching. Stay tuned for part two, SmackDown.